Hi everybody, uh, we're going to be doing some little bit knot tying lessons. Um, this is for a couple different knots. Uh, technically the same knot, just repeated um, and used in a different circumstance. This will work for fly tying and salmon fishing and trout fishing in general. Um, anytime you need to attach two lines together, these two knots are being used. Um, today we're just using a braided 50 pound tough line. Um, we're using an Olympus camera to take this video but it doesn't like focusing very close so hopefully everybody can see this. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to use our basic blood knot tying tool like nail knot tool. Uh, you can see it has a V in the middle, a little thumb pad and a little notch right near the end. Um, to tie a basic nail knot, which is what we'll start with first, we have our two lines. We're facing in opposite directions. So you have the tail end going one way and the other end or the, the knot that you're, the line you're tying to is going the other direction. So today, this one here will be our actual line we're tying to. Uh, this could be on your rod, this could be a piece, a tail end like what we're using today. Um, this could be really anything you need to tie a little knot to. You can use this as a stopper knot for your bobbers. Uh, use a little bead and a little piece of chunk of line and go from there. So basically over the years uh, we have found, like me and my friends and father have found that the uh, easiest way to use this tool is not 100% like they direct you to. Um, this is another version of way, way to, uh, a way to use it. Um, we're going to tie, we're going to put the lines in in opposing fashions. So we have the one going one way. We're going to lay that in there. That's our line that we're tying to. And then we're going to lay the other one across the top through the same V's at the top. You put your thumb down, make sure it doesn't move. That way you're holding both lines, you're not worried about them. You're going to take your line that you're tying onto the other line, so the, the spare piece of line here. You're going to start, go right into that V groove and start wrapping it back towards the your thumb pad. Uh, for this line here, we're going to do about four wraps for this one, just for the length of it. We're going to take our spare end, we're going to feed it with the two pieces of line inside the loop, if you can see that. Keep it nice and tight, don't quite pull it yet. Gonna bring it right till it's ready, and we're gonna make sure we got our other two lines free. We're gonna pull it on and just give it a nice little tug. You'll see it actually smooths right out and pulls into a nice little knot. This line is so beautiful for this. It will actually make such a small knot you can barely see it on the line. I don't, if you can see it there, that's great. That is your basic nail knot. So next, we're actually gonna continue this knot and we're gonna make what's called a blood knot. This is for the splicing of two lines. And all we're gonna do is tie a nail knot in the other direction. So we're gonna flip this all around. Give ourselves a couple inches to work with. So here's our, our old knot right here. We're gonna take our loose end. That was our original line. So if this was being tied on as a barber stop knot, we would not have this, we would not need this. Um, we're gonna do the same knot again. So you lay them both in the groove. On the thumb pad, you're holding tight. You wrap again. Two, three, four. Make sure your end piece is good. We're gonna thread it right up the little hole here. I got a little bit of a fray on this one just from the way we cut it. And my hands are huge. Yay! Shove it back up the hole. There it goes. 
And again, make sure you have your other lines free. You're just gonna pull it off and pull the knot flat and then tighten it up and it'll make a nice, beautiful little knot. Now with the two knots in opposing fashions, these knots will slide. They actually slide right together and they cinch in the middle. Now the beautiful thing about a nail knot is you can actually trim right to the end. So you can actually pull that knot back. Sorry, you can see that there. You can actually pull it back and trim right to the knot. It will not fail. It will not move. Um, we are missing our fine scissors, so we won't be able to do this for you today, but uh, you can test this. It will never fail. It will not catch on anything. If you do find it is catching, uh, trim it back just a touch more and it will uh, continue working nicely for you. And that's all. Thank you.